Hi, and welcome back to Amit Melanoma Series, Melanoma 101. I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and Amit Melanoma's Ask an Expert. Today on Melanoma 101, we're gonna be talking about what treatment options are available for BRAF mutated melanomas. So just to review uh, quickly, BRAF mutations are present in about 50% of cutaneous melanomas. So that means melanomas that arise from the skin. Of these mutations, the vast majority, about 85 to 90%, will be V600E. However, you can also have the mutation for BRAF V600K, which is present in about 5 to 7% of patients with this mutation. The other thing that I wanted to remind you of is what BRAF's role is um, in the way that melanomas grow. So uh, if you didn't know this already, you can go back and watch one of our other videos about the role of BRAF in melanoma. Um, and we talk about this in a little more detail, but just to quickly review, um, BRAF is part of the normal growth pattern that cells of melanoma go through. So what happens in patients that do not have the BRAF mutation is that they get a signal, um, a BRAF signal that then pushes this pathway through to the nucleus, through MEK, through ERK, um, and ultimately tells the cell to grow. When patients have the BRAF mutation, unfortunately the signal is not normal, and what ultimately happens is that the cells tend to grow faster in patients with the BRAF mutation than those that do not have the BRAF mutation. So one of the options for treatment for BRAF mutated patients is to actually use what is called targeted therapy that actually focuses on targeting or blocking this BRAF part of the MEK kinase pathway um, to prevent cellular growth. And so what happens is this BRAF inhibitor actually blocks this signal from occurring and therefore the rest of this pathway can't happen and ultimately you see decreases or even stoppage of the cellular growth pattern. What sometimes can happen because melanoma cells are extremely smart, is that they sometimes learn to work around this. And so what had happened in some patients that developed either resistance or didn't respond the way that we expected them to um, with BRAF inhibitor alone, um, is that this MEK part of the pathway actually took over um, and resulted in cell growth anyway. And so what was done is that they looked at, well, how can we target the MEK part of this pathway? And so drugs were developed um, that are called MEK inhibitors that actually help block the pathway at the level of MEK um, to ultimately prevent cellular growth. And what they saw is that by blocking the BRAF part of the pathway, as well as the MEK part of the pathway, they had greater efficacy in controlling tumor growth um, and also less side effects. So the point of this story is that if targeted therapy is the option that is ultimately presented to you, you will see both a BRAF and a MEK inhibitor given in most instances. Now there are a couple of exceptions to that rule. It primarily deals with comorbid conditions that the patient might have. But again, this leads us back to the ultimate thing that, you know, the decision for what treatment you use for melanoma is a very individual decision. So, for BRAF mutated melanomas, it's not a one size fits all decision. Not every patient um, will initially go on a BRAF MEK inhibitor. Um, and you know what I wanted to essentially stress is that there are several factors that go into making the decision for treatment options. So there are various treatment options, including surgery, uh, radiation, immunotherapy, targeted therapy, some combination of those things um, for each patient but each decision is very individualized. So this is something that you wanna to talk to your healthcare provider about. Um, and ultimately some of the things that your healthcare provider will take into consideration are the stage of your melanoma, the individual characteristics of your tumor, um, what your other comorbidities are, like what other illnesses do you have that are contributing or can contribute to your overall success. Um, as well as the symptoms that you have. So, um, you know, does your tumor cause pain? Is it causing a functional deficit somehow by pressing on some type of structure? 
Um, these are all things that are taken into consideration when ultimately deciding a treatment option. So again, this is something that you would want to discuss with your healthcare provider. This is a very individualized decision. Um, but do know that for BRAF mutated melanomas, there are several options that are available um, to you and will vary with each individual. I hope that you now have a better understanding of what the treatment options are for BRAF mutated melanoma. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, but otherwise, I'm Melissa Wilson, and this is Melanoma 101.